my name is Justin Lawson and in this video I'm going to explain in how I made my track Gospel which is out now on all platforms Spotify, Apple Music, all of them, it's out there. Like and subscribe to my channel and uh, let's get into it. It's a pretty simple track to be honest. Uh, the way it all started I wanted the sort of the inspiration of the track was how can I I found a sample pack with loads of sort of like gospel, um, choir sounds and just people singing basically and I thought wow that would be a pretty cool idea to put into a track. So I just sort of threw samples into into a chain where maybe I thought that if I put them together it could sort of like create a drop section. So this is what the very first project started off as and um, yeah just it's just me putting together some vocal samples just to see what what sort of chain I can make and just give me an idea of what what works and what doesn't work so these are the sounds that I found which you'll hear at the start of the track so I kept that I'm not sure if I kept that but I definitely kept this one that's a cool sample, the part is right here. And then I found some others where I can just make sort of a, uh, a build up section. So I just think I just got some woos. Yeah, I definitely kept that one. And then just clipping it. Yeah, so that's sort of the vocal samples and that's like, okay, I can use that throughout the track. And that's sort of like the idea of the track. So now I need some sort of chord progression and if I mute this lot this is the one I come up with if I solo that so this is like the anchor of the track this is the chord progression that's just throughout the track and if you're a producer or anyone just sort of making music for fun uh, this is a really good sort of um, system to keep to, it's like a theme of the of the track. This this chord progression. So when you hear this track, you this this chord progression will play throughout the whole song. And I just kept to that with the bass line, um, the intro, and all, and all the other parts. So let's go into the final project, which is this one. And as you can see. I sort of just spaced out all the samples where mate like on the drop section the woo bit comes in. So with that progression I made the bass line out of it, which is this. And for that I used FL Studios Flex submarine preset and it's just a sub basically uh, I just played around with some of the uh, the amp and the noise in there I don't think it the amp definitely made it sort of I think it just adds a bit of saturation to it and the noise it didn't didn't really do a lot so I just left it as, as it is and that's of course still sticking to that same progression yeah and the samples So I just uh, basically spread them out throughout the track where if and where I need it I still kept this part the woes as the build up so that's just you can't really hear it it's clipping quite badly but as you can see it's all there and I just used a uh, flanger to sort of phase it out and then the reverb so it's, so it's coming from a distance coming back in and then back out for the drop and just some filtering um, let's go to the drums and as you can see I've only got say three tracks for the drums They, I, I wanted to sort of make this track uh, more about the chord progression so when you start doing stuff like that well I would would have made all of the um, all of the track without any per 
percussion, no claps, no hi hats. I would have done that. I remember I did that last, and uh, I just sort of played around with different layers for the uh, for the chord progression. So the first layer, which is more more like the the intro um, synth, I'll just mute that one, and mute all the others. This is if I put that there and then just play this really quiet but still I used um, same progression for that and I used flex again which is which is just a sample based um, plugin which is really Good for workflow. I, I love these sort of plugins because I don't have to waste waste time. Not waste time, but like just spend a lot of time in sound design, which is which can you can sort of go in a rabbit hole with that sort of stuff. And I find myself I I do sit there and make sounds and use them, but I think I've I just wanted to get this track finished and. Um, and out the door basically so I just use simple um, simple plugins for this and just played around with some of the dials on here and said yeah does it work yes it does okay well I'm just gonna leave it then and uh, I think I must have used oh this this here it's just a simple F sharp pad and I've probably oh, I used the repro 5 on this which is an emulator of uh, I can't remember what uh, synthesizer, but this this creates really good sounds as well, which is good. Uh, it's a polysynth, so you can. Um, I only used one note, but it sounds good. Um, other layers of synths that I used. Can I? Will it let me play this? just hear it that's more of like a sort of just a background pluck just ding, 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 ding. again it's really quiet just in the background and I'm using contact which is another and and the uh, seven sky seven skies get low which uh, is another sample base um, plug-in but you can really sort of like mess around with the sound and that on this. So I, I think I've used the LFO uh, at a fixed rate, just controlling the cutoff, um, just so it just makes that sort of just plucked. That did, 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 did. Yeah, so that that sounds really good. And that's the Lush Moog Moog. Sorry. Um, other layers that I put on there. Oh yeah, this one here. So this is sort of on the second half of the of the drop section, um, still sticking to the same uh, notes and progression. Um, so it's all it's all relative. So there's nothing. I, I do like to do things out of place, just sort of uh, grab your attention. But uh, with this track, I sort of just kept it all, just just the same. It has its own sort of signature which is th which is the uh, the progression and that is yeah just a simple pluck which sits really nicely in the frequency range with this sub using too much of my computer's CPU but go and listen to the track you'll hear it the mastered version is a lot better um, in terms of sort of arrangement I wanted to make this track quite long so I think the track altogether yeah well, it's not long but in house music it's about the standard six and a half maybe six and a half is long enough you've got a nice long intro for people who are going to play it out if they ever do 
and it's just a simple uh, sub bass drop. Um, I'll just quickly go into sort of the, the kick. Uh, nothing special here. I, I've made it a 16 bar loop and I've done that throughout the whole track as like a 16 bar. Um, I've kept and then yeah these ones are only 4 bar but it loops quite well because I've got the double kick on this bit and then on this section here it's the and that is just a 2 bar loop for the hi-hats which sounds cool nothing special there really just simple sounds um, and as you can see I've sort of normally I would sort of make the drums so I have the kick and then I'd have the clap pattern and then the hi-hat pattern but like I said earlier I wanted to keep everything I wanted to make the track about that that progression so I kept all the drums in in one pattern which is I don't normally do I, I like I like to sort of uh, I don't know maybe it's me just giving the illusion that the the, the, the project is really big so I, I separate every single sound into tracks but with this I did it all in this in the uh, sequencer and then just routed it all from here and just kept this drum pattern as sort of that set drum pattern which will run the whole way through and then I add the open hi-hats for so it's kind of like the second part or, the, or the, the building up part section of the of the drop so the open hi-hats come in there and then on this next section this is when the synth comes in starting off with the woo which is like just letting you know it's the second half of the uh, first drop and then that sort of plays out that synth comes in second build up starts and I sort of just copied and paste that but then I let this this synth sort of come through and then the woo start and then bring everything back in without the kick and then uh, that sort of plays on the second half of the second break low pass in the drums here it comes Yeah, so that sounds pretty good. And on the second drop, I've just got that. This is that intro synth that you that that plucky intro synth that comes in. So that's that's going to come in on the second drop, and then on the the second half of that drop, the this layer here, which is the synthy sound. Yeah, so then that comes in for the second half. There's not really that much to say for this track, really. Um, I tried to keep it as simple as possible, and uh, that really sort of worked effectively because it kept me interested, and I definitely learned a lot from this track going forward, where I would just sort of um, keep to one progression and build around that progression. Um, using samples that I would never normally use which is choir sample which I, I would never use that you know I normally tend to go for the uh, the standard house music samples um, so this just sort of gives it that different sort of uh, I don't know sound because of the uh, vocal samples that I used in it arrangement wise if I just quickly go over arrangement 16 16 16 I've just kept it as 16 bar loops um, first of all uh, if you're getting stuck in an 8 bar loop make it a 16 and just wherever you whenever you add something to that loop um, just keep building 
and uh, it's kind of what this is like really but I'm just bringing things in and out I mean if you count the amount of stuff that I've actually got in there it really isn't a lot I mean if you took away all these um, automations it's a really small project which um, at first is a bit sort of I don't know so you're always thinking that there's there's more to add but really it's fine just as it is the less sounds the better I say the less sounds playing together the better okay so that is a a breakdown of the track it's not really um, that complex I feel that, that I learnt a lot from this track that um, keeping things simple is always the way forward with me um, I try to build a big project first and then take away stuff at the end to sort of see how much I can get away with not playing at the same time if you know what I mean um, just keeping things simple it, it feels a bit strange at first because I mean for this first drop section you've literally just got the kick drums sub three elements which is perfect the uh, the less the less sounds the better okay so that is a track breakdown of uh, my track gospel um, it's out on all platforms give it a listen um, I'll see you in the next video